Over the course of a year and a half, we have built most of North America. We populated Greenland with domes. We rebuilt Atlantis. We built Africa. We built Europe. We built Russia. A lot of mainland Asia over here. Australia, New New Zealand. And we've been gradually working our way across the planet. It's a gradual project. There are regions that have not been done. We're simply going to get around to them over time. But for today, this section of land in Antarctica. And some people might recognize how this bit of land is laid out because we've got a bit of a nostalgic throwback for you guys today. It's the plot build. Some people might remember this one. Uh, this was like one of the original starting kind of big premise builds that we did at the start of last year. For today only, it's back. Uh, we're gonna try and populate some of Antarctica using plots. Oh, we have a very cute looking penguin. Kind of looks like he's got a bit of a hunched back until like his face is filled in. <laughs> But we'll call him Quasimodo. There's a Piplup? Oh! Oh, look at him and his little scarf. I mean, that's technically like little Jefferson here. Jefferson when he was a wee penguin. Here's a snowman. It One of his eyes seems to be having a little bit of trouble now. This one's kind of like up here. He's very derpy looking, isn't he? I think he's kind of cute. I mean, he looks friendlier than this potential snowman. Like, that one just looks kind of menacing. If you looked at the window and saw this on the street, you'd be like, oh god. Like, lock the doors. Oh, bless. Here's a very blocky Christmas tree. <laughs> I mean, this is what they all kind of look like in Minecraft when you're doing the layers. It's like almost like Christmas tree slash pyramid structure. It's very wide, isn't it? Oh, good God. That's the, uh, that's a Don't Starve monster, isn't it? Is it the deer clops? Oh, God, that's menacing. <laughs> oh, no. I don't like this at all. What do you think they're talking about? Politics? <laughs> The IRS Penguin Council would like to have its annual meeting. Anti-Santa's workshop under construction. Well, this is evil Santa. Where Joy goes to die. I guess we got the North Pole where Santa lives, and then we have the South Pole where anti-Santa lives. There must always be balance. Uh, why is this house on fire? Wait. Emergency door. I mean, it seems quite cozy apart from the flames. <laughs> You thought Santa would be here, fool. <laughs> it was I, Felix Manfred von Karma. I planned this whole thing from the very start. <laughs> it's actually, he actually looks kind of dapper in a Santa suit, doesn't he? And what would you like for Christmas, child? A new PlayStation 5? Dream on, kiddo. Everyone knows they are not available in GameStop. But I could sell you one. Second hand <laughs> for a marked up price. Von Karman, no, that's really shitty. Why isn't there more government regulations and laws about this? Seriously, we need more government regulations and laws against this. Uh, this is not going to be a snow globe. Can't wait to see this snow globe. Split decision runes by Mr. Disco, aka Stickmaster. How's it going, man? It's like a temple split in two? Oh no, this is, um. This is from Pokemon Sword and Shields DLC, isn't it? This is where you pick which Reggie you want. Yeah, so there's like the new electric Reggie, or there's like the dragon one that's kind of like got like red colors. That's pretty cool, yeah. Oh, I know what this is too. This is the Wii Sports Resort, the arena. Budget kind of went down after current world event, lol, but hey, at least you get a good view of the frigid depths beyond. <laughs> Team log will be updated. I have class, so I rushed. And thus continues the time honor tradition on the server of People play in Minecraft when they're supposed to be in school. Some things never change. I'm in class right now. You, am I on loudspeaker or something in your class? Like, can, is your teacher just gonna hear me? Because I don't know how to feel about that. I just someone's just watching me like openly in class, like on speaker. And they have to listen to me now questioning the fact that I'm being listened to in class. Say hi to the class, RT. But shouldn't you guys be doing homework or some shit like there's gonna be a teacher out there now that's like i'm so disappointed in this man he should know better it's not my fault your students shouldn't be watching me right now hey like class 3a maths have you used your twitch prime subscription yet what's stopping you your teacher why invest in education when you can invest in these sick twitch emotes subscribe today it's free now the teachers are really gonna be after me this <laughs> Oh my god. This is quite jarring. The Nunmai Station 3 was built in 2009 and is a research station of the Alfred Wigener Institute in Germany. The station rests on 16 hydraulic columns and a snow surface. A garage was used below the surface. 
I was in piston piston bullies, skidoo freezer, and technical equipment. Hydraulic feet rest on metal platforms. The whole complex was lifted to prevent the building uh, being captured in snowdrifts. Is this an actual structure in Antarctica? It's Pepsi. <laughs> No, it's not Pepsi. Netherlands has been renamed Pepsi Land to recover the country's economy. <laughs> Could you imagine? You, you see like arenas all the time that are built like after their sponsors. Like there's the 3 Arena after 3 Mobile, the O2. What if like like Coca-Cola just sponsors a country? Let's just rename France. It's Coca-Cola Land now. Let's make Coke Land? It couldn't be Coke Land. Because Coke Land sounds like something else that's not as good. I wonder where Carol went. He's been gone for a while now. Heard he went uh, into the back room. Saw a red spaceman. He did. Oh no! <laughs> Do not enter. I don't think Carol's doing too well. Oh no! Body report it. Emergency meeting. Every time, like, um, like an Among Us is mentioned or even vaguely referenced in some way and chat just immediately all starts chanting sus or like Among Us or Amogus. I always picture it in just a golem voice as if it's like an uncontrollable reflex. So that everyone's just going, Amogus! Amogus! My press us! <laughs> oh, I don't like that. An attempt to build Celeste, work in progress. Oh yeah, they're doing the summit. Climbing the mountain. I don't, I, I don't know if this is a part of Celeste. Flesh B side, okay. Oh, look at this guy go. He's doing a big jump. I'm amazed he fit out of this tiny little pond. To like tuck his tail in. Cold ice cream in business. Vanilla chocolate, strawberry, mint chocolate, peppermint, and eggnog. What exactly is eggnog? I've always heard about it. I've never actually tried it. Nogged eggs. Thanks, that clears it up. <laughs> What's eggnog? Noggy egg. Oh, thanks. Very cozy uh, cabin here, too. Getting like Skyrim vibes off that. It's very nicely constructed. Just a shame that the deer clops is gonna completely demolish that home. <laughs> oh my god, look at this lad. Is that Badoof? Badoof with a Christmas hat, bless. God! KBTR, is this like a radio station? Kinda looks it. I think it is a radio station, is it? Please, Mariah Carey, I don't wanna play it again! <laughs> This is most radio stations come like early November. That's wonderful. RT Penguin, he's so cute. Oh, why is this so? M oh yeah, that house is on fire. Sorry, I forgot that. He's so cute. Ignore the blaze. Jess, how the hell did we get to Antarctica? Royal Mail. <laughs> Oswin Pat's a bit far from home. Antarctica's first and probably last aquarium. Shamu, no. <laughs> oh my God. Look, we can't afford central heating. I think the aquarium might need to be closed. <laughs> oh, someone's making like an ice dragon. That's really cool looking. I'm trying to get like the best angle on it. Probably like that, you can really see it. Oh no. Wallace, what have they done to you? <laughs> oh god, this is um, this is like the worm in Subnautica, isn't it? I think I remember this. The ice worm from Subnautica below zero, yes. Did a good job, I was able to recognize it, man. Oh, how's the stack going? So we got Piplup, we got Chimchar, and we got a Turtwig. Pokemon Tower. Poor Chimchar, I feel like he's kind of like sandwiched in. Like, Turtwig is like kind of like a big boy, and he's just balancing on his head. Uh, this is looking magnificent, whatever it is. It's very detailed. At the Mountains of Madness, HP Lovecraft. Best thing about building Eldritch Abomination is that you can just suck at building and just say it's a feature. <laughs> it's been a while since we had a Cthulhu S car on the server. And I for one welcome it. Nothing to see here. Just wasting your time. God damn it, he got us! The real frozen head of Walt Disney kept here at our very own RT Games Antarctica. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, so it's not a snow globe in the end. Oh my god. Oh, this is the finale of Metopia. Oh, god love them. <laughs> They've tried to do like their faces just with the emotes. It's so cursed. Chat has really left themselves go. Yeah, it's just constantly going downhill. What the fuck? It was taking me a moment to realize what was going on here. <laughs> oh no. You made the naughty list this year, Timmy. No Santa, please! Places with lots of snow, like Antarctica, snow blindness is something to be feared. You know the sun can give you sunburns from UVs and how you squint your eyes when looking at bright light. 
Well, it turns out that your eyes can also be sunburned. When the sun reflects off the snow, it becomes a lot higher to handle, which can result in snow blindness. Snow blindness easily reveals itself when it becomes too high to see. It isn't permanent, but it hurts like hell, apparently. One of the ways to resist snow blindness is to wear dark tinted sunglasses. Uh oh, this guy might have seen an avalanche too late. Uh oh. <laughs> that's, that's cute, it's a little bit of an informative piece. Rip this guy, yeah, he seems to be buried underground now. Jefferson! Oh, look at our penguin boy! Look at all the teeth on him, oh god, it's, it's actually quite menacing. I love him though. They're beautiful boy. Jefferson, my beloved. Oh, we got- We got a polar bear drinking Pepsi, I think. On the run from Coca-Cola. Please, anything he helps. Holidays are coming. Holidays are coming. No, please! Please, you can't find me here! Holidays are coming. Holidays are coming. Please, God, no! The trucks! Please, just leave us! Spare us this year! Holidays for Cola! Base Esperanza is an Argentine scientific research station located in the Esperanza Bay located in the Trinidad Peninsula. It's one of only two civilian settlements in Antarctica, the other one being the Chilean Villa Las Estrellas. The research station's motto is Permanencia un acto de sacrificio, which means, uh, permanence, an act of sacrifice. Founded in 1952, it is used for scientific and military purposes, and the, pe and the people that work here also live with their families in the same place. Here's the actual coordinates. That's very cool. Toxed. <laughs> Oh no! So someone's gonna like ship them like pizzas. Like, honestly, I think they'd appreciate it. And if you can get Domino's out there to them, fair play. Look inside and see what you get. Gift you get. Good luck. Your gift is pain. Your gift is sadness. What'd you get for cr Christmas? Oh sweet, I got anxiety. What'd you get? Oh nice man, I got depression myself. Oh, I got that last year too. <laughs> It's a, oh, come on, Santa, I already got that one. <laughs> Austra average Australian winter, yep. Looks about right. Beach holiday. Having a grand old time. Oh, someone just made a massive present. Is there an entry point on this? Oh, it's French. No, wait, you just got dutched. You must now eat uh, pepper noten and stroop waffles. Glories to the Netherlands. <laughs> Almost built like kind of like a netter cottage. Celebrating Yule Pagan Winter. A Yule. Most Christmases celebrate the birth of Christ at this time of year, and Yule is connected to the joy at the birth of the sun god, child of the goddess. It is a celebration of rebirth. This is a turning point of the year when the days gradually become longer and the darkness of winter is overcome. That's pretty cool. Welcome to the Happy Chanukah House. Or the Happy Hanukkah House. Both spellings work. Chanukah is a traditional Jewish festival that began in the 2nd century BCE. During this time, the Jewish people were under occupation by the Syrian Greek army, who was trying to convert them to their faith. A small group of armed Jewish peasants were able to drive them out and successfully reclaim the temple and rededicate it to God. When they uh, relight the menorah, they found they only had one cruise, is it? They lit the menorah and, and the supply of olive oil that was meant to only last for one day lasted for eight days. It was a miracle. To commemorate the miracle that had occurred and the victory of the Jewish people, the sages of the temple institute the festival of Chanukka. Chanukka is to celebrate on the eve of the 25th of Kislev, Kislev, December in the Jewish calendar. Thank you for reading the initial book. Most of the information for this book and other books came from uh, Shabbat.org. Chanukka 2021 lasts from November 28th to December 6th. Okay, so it's currently happening then. Chanukah is pronounced ha like Hanukkah. Oh, okay, so I, I was wondering, because I've heard it called Hanukkah, and I was thinking, I've never seen it like that. Happy Hanukkah, if you happen to be celebrating it. I tried making a menorah using armor stands, but no space. Oh, uh, I mean, f fair play for even attempting that, considering that, like, you're working with Minecraft. It, it, it is quite tricky to do stuff like that. Well, that is, uh, that is absolutely lovely. Thanks for just, like, teaching us a little bit about Hanukkah. Not pronounced Chanukah. There is a ladybird squad. These are very cute. Ladybugs with earmuffs. Bless. Oh, they do have little earmuffs. That's very cute. The house that was on fire is now contained in its own dome. Quite a menacing snow globe. Welcome to the reverse snow globe. He's a very derpy penguin. <laughs> He's got a present for, for you. Oh, it's fall, guys. You're right. It's the penguin costume. That's Sierra building. It is Sierra. I remember this one now. Yeah, there, there's a really derpy penguin costume in this game. That's what the eyes are here. That's that's the guy with the bean's face. I'm so cold. Shut up, Craig. We're almost there. 
Where are these guys going? If you would like to build on the server in future, you are more than welcome to connect. We will be doing a tour of everything that has been built on the server in future. Um, just for today, I just thought it'd be nice to do a bit of a throwback to the old plots. And, you know, and just something new. Uh, thank you, well, as ever, to everyone who came by the server today and actually built something too.